Hi everybody, this is Vicki. Today I'm going to be doing a tag. It's called the randomly random question tag. And this is a tag that I made up myself. Um, I saw a lot of people on YouTube seem to be making up tags these days, so I thought I'd join. Anyway, excuse my hair here. Um, I just took a shower, so it's still wet. It's drying. And so let me get started on the tag. Um, favorite book of all time. Uh, my favorite book that I've ever read is still The Seventeenth Summer. And um, that was a book that I read as a teenager. I read it several times over the years. Um, I mean, a lot of times, especially when I was a teenager. It's a really great book. Um, I haven't ever read a book that I've loved as much as that one for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, it, uh, if you read it, it reminds you of youth and everything. But it's a really, really good book. Uh, I highly recommend it. Especially if you have teenagers, it's a good book for them to read. Anyway, last place you travel to. Um, the last place I traveled to would be Hawaii and San Diego. Um, I went on Hawaiian cruise and it left from San Diego and it got back to San Diego. So that was the last place I've been. And my mom lives down in San Diego, so does my brother and sister. So um, I've lived there for a couple of years and if I could live there right now, I would. But um, I, you know, have um, a son that's still up here, so um, I'm staying up here for that for right now. And let's see, number three, favorite theater movie or TV movie of all time? Um, mine would have to be a TV movie, and, and it's The Thornbirds. I just love that movie. I mean, it was really great. I've seen it quite a few times. I just love it. I mean, I don't stop loving it. <laughs> so that would be my favorite one. And number four, Walt Disney's Disneyland in Anaheim, California or Magic Kingdom in Florida. And this does not include the surrounding parks like Epcot Center, California Adventure, or anything like that. Just the physical uh, park itself. Um, I've been to both. I think I like um, Disneyland in California um, a little better. Um, I think it's laid out better, it's easier to find your way around, and I like like the Pirates of the Caribbean and things like that. I think they do the, have done the rides a little bit better at Disneyland in California. Um, summer or fall? Definitely fall. I do not like summer. I do not like heat. I mean, I like summer. You know, it's pretty and all. And if it just didn't get so hot, it would be fine. But fall's my all-time favorite season. I love the changing of the leaves. I love crunching the leaves. That was my favorite thing to do as a kid. Walk home from school and crunch all the leaves. So I'd have to pick fall. Spring or winter? Uh, definitely spring. Um, I'm okay with winter, but I think spring with the fresh smell of the, all the flowers, um, it wreaks havoc on my allergies, and so does fall for that matter. That's when my allergies are my allergies are, are the worst is in fall. But um, love both those seasons. Beach or mountains? I like both, but if I have to pick one. I would say definitely the beach. Um, love the beach, love going to Monterey, Half Moon Bay, um, all up the coast of California. We have some of the most beautiful beaches here. And all the way up the coast to the north, um, I know they have beautiful beaches in Washington and Oregon. So, and definitely the beaches in San Diego are some of my favorites. La Jolla, I just love it in La Jolla. It's very beautiful. So, um, definitely have to say beaches. Number eight, Las Vegas or Atlantic City? Um, I've only been to Las Vegas. I've seen pictures and things of Atlantic City. I love Las Vegas. I don't think that Atlantic City would top it for me even if I was there in person. I love Las Vegas. Do you have any kids under 21? Yes, I have one son. He is 17. He'll be 18 in January, so he'll be graduating high school and going off to college. And let's see, uh, do you have any kids over 21? Yes, I have a daughter 
that is turning 28 and that will be in December and she moved to Arizona with her husband and she's a teacher um, number 11 automatic car wash and coin op car wash or hand car wash at home um, I've done the coin op car wash and to me it's a total waste of money you have to spend so much money just to get your car washed if you know because I guess maybe we're a little too picky about washing our car and we always run out of the money and we have to keep feeding it money and hand washing the car at home um, I, we can't do we could do it here but not very well and you'll know why in a minute uh, so I'd have to pick automatic car wash um, I just rather drive through the car wash get everything done and be done with it number 12 freeway driving or surface streets um, definitely surface streets for me if I could find a surface street to drive <laughs> I'm there I mean if I can get from point A to point B on a surface street and it doesn't take that long I'll I'll avoid the freeways but if not I'll take the freeway but I don't particularly like the freeways the more the more I'm getting the older I get uh, the less I like driving on the freeway number 13 do you live in a house condo or an apartment I live in a condo so that's the reason why it's not that easy to wash your car around here you have to get a hose and then keep it downstairs um, in the storage supply so it's kind of a pain in the butt so that's why anyway um, number 14 favorite cookie I'd have to say um, the oatmeal uh, coconut cookies uh, that my grandma used to make and my mom's made them and um, I make them they're really really good they're nice and crispy and they have the little the you know the oatmeal taste and also with a subtle coconut uh, favorite pie um, that would probably be boysenberry but God, I can't even talk. Boysenberry pie or um, like banana cream. No, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. Uh, favorite cake. That would be spice cake uh, with uh, white buttercream frosting. I just love spice cake. I've loved it since I was a kid. Favorite soda. Um, I love Coke and Dr. Pepper. So I trade back and forth. So Coke and Dr. Pepper. Regular or waterproof mascara? I prefer regular, but during the summer, um, I found the waterproof mascara I like, um, Maybelline Lash Stiletto. So definitely regular most of the time. Only in the summer do I do the waterproof. Body lotion or cream? Um, that's kind of a hard one. I use both. Um, probably cream during the winter and lotion in the summer. Favorite foundation? Uh, that would be my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. And that's in the color Nude 40. Um, let's see, number 21, bath or shower? Um, I like taking baths, but definitely I'm a shower person. I mean, I might take a bath once in a great while, but I l love taking showers so much easier. So with my back now, it's getting kind of hard to stand in there that long. So uh, sometimes I like to wash my hair in the shower, but sometimes I'll have to wash it at the sink later, just because it's too hard for me to stand for that long. But usually I could get through it. Uh, favorite music artist or group? Um, some of my favorite artists are, let's see, um, uh, Bon Jovi, uh, Rob Thomas, uh, love both of them, um, which would, so Rob Thomas, Matchbox 20, because Rob Thomas is part of the group, and um, let's see, Keith Urban, um, Bruce Springsteen, and David Cook, uh, you know, he was one of American Idols, I love David Cook. Uh, let's see, who else? God, <laughs> I can't think right now. Um, I like Lady Annabellum. They've had come out with some pretty good stuff. Um, I didn't like country at all before, but, uh, you know, I like some of it. Not all of it, but I like some of it. Um, and let me see who else. I mentioned Bon Jovi and, um, Springsteen. Um, I think that's all I can think of right now. Anyway, uh, let's see, 23. Bath or shower, bath, shower gel or soap. 
Uh, definitely the shower, shower gel. I used to use soap, but now I'm loving the shower gel. Um, I just, just, uh, I think I just, yeah, I just really love it. I don't know why. Um, I like how it foams up, washes off, leaves your skin soft uh, without that residue of soap. I know some of those goat's milk soaps are supposed to be really good, and I kind of want to try them, but I haven't so far. Number 24, eat or leave the pizza crust? Um, I definitely eat it. If I'm getting too full, I might leave a little bit of it, but I like to eat it, especially if it's a good crust. If it's not a good crust, I'll leave it. Favorite sandwich? Now, I don't know if any of you have heard of this. A lot of people say, and they can't stand it, just the thought of it, but egg and olive. Uh, mixed together with mayonnaise and salt and pepper. It's an egg and olive sandwich. It's been my favorite sandwich since I was a little kid. I love egg and olive. So do my brother and sister. And uh, my kids are, you know, they're okay with it. My husband loves it too. But egg and olive definitely wins hands down. If you've never tried it, it's egg and black olive. Um, you just, you know, um, put the egg in a chopper chop it up and uh, mix it with the olives and I get um, sli not sliced olives but um, uh, what do you call it you know the, the pieces the bits and pieces whatever they're called they're chopped up already chopped olives <laughs> and then uh, mix it with mayonnaise and salt and pepper to taste and chill it it's the best when it's really cold so it's excellent um, I guarantee you would like it if you like eggs and olives <laughs> Anyway, favorite type of food ethnicity, um, Mexican food wins hands down for me. I love Mexican food, probably followed by Italian food and then Chinese. I just, uh, I love Mexican food. I could eat it every single day of my life. And let's see, um, 27, favorite cheese, uh, pepper jack cheese would definitely win hands down for me. I uh, love pepper jack cheese. And um, there's another cheese, Havarte? I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, I like that a lot too. Uh, favorite perfume? That is Tresor by Lancome. And here, I'll show you up close the name. There you go. It's by Lancome. Um, I've been using this perfume ever since it came out. It's my all-time favorite. I just love it. I love the smell. My husband loves this. This is what I wore when he first met me, so he always remembers that. And let's see, uh, number 29, shower poof, um, washcloth or hands. Um, I used to use a washcloth when I was younger. Then I went to hands, and now I use the shower poofy thing, you know, those little shower puffy things. And um, so that's what I do now. 30, favorite shampoo and conditioner. Um, right now, I'm kind of in between. Right now, I'm using, I just got it, Nexus Therapy Shampoo and Humectris Conditioner. So I'm going to see how that works out. Um, I've had it before at salons and it smells really good. It's like coconut, so I'm, I'm liking it so far. 31, favorite lipstick and lip gloss colors. Um, my favorite lip gloss would be by Avon. It's called Rave. There it is. And there it is. It's on my lips right now. And my favorite lipstick color, I'm almost running out of time, is Creme de la Femme by MAC. There you go. And that's that. It's kind of a, a pink with kind of a gold, gold cast to it in a way. It's a beautiful color, I just love it. So anyway, and also that's a frost. So anyway, I tag everybody to do this tag, um, especially, uh, just I tag everybody. I'm running out of time to list people. So I tag everybody, all my subscribers to do this tag and anybody else that wants to do it. You can uh, post it as a response to my video if you'd like. And I look forward to seeing